Hello, hello guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Ashley if you are new and I am going to do the April setup in my Stology today. I'm really excited because I love my Stology and recently I've started doing weekly layouts in it as well. And I think if it's even possible, it's going to make me love it even more. So I am going to be setting up for April today. I have already have some vellum folds that I think is super pretty. I think I've used this in Istology before. I think for, let me see, did I? I feel like I have. So here is the beginning. And then I think I used it for January, did I? Yes. So I already used this for January, but I think it's really pretty for April for rain. And so I'm still kind of working on March. March is not over yet, but I'm closing out March. As you can see, I'm working on my last thoughts for March. I haven't put the stickers on it yet, but I am going to be decorating for April. So another problem is that I have absolutely no clue where my paper trimmer is. Like I have no idea. And I did bend this vellum a little bit, but that's okay. We're still going to use it. It's still pretty. It's just a little bit beat up, but that's okay. At my house, if it's been a little bit beat up and you don't use it, then that pretty much means you're not going to use anything because <laughs> everything is like that. <laughs> so Jensen is asleep, and what usually happens is Jensen is asleep and then for whatever reason even though they have not been interested in this all day they come up here okay while I was dealing with the child I did cut off some of the bent parts so but like I was saying if you don't use it if it's a little bit messed up around here then you probably won't use barely anything because <laughs> my stuff gets messed up all the time children think they need to play with it and then it gets all messed up okay so I think we're going to do it this way, and I really like that. I know that I cut it crooked, but again, my paper trimmer is lost, and I am not the best at trimming things evenly. Let me see if I can get that just a little bit better. Um, yeah, if you didn't know, I'm left-handed, and left-handed cutting is harder. I'm not going to lie. Okay, that's a little bit better. Okay, so I think this is perfect for April. So let me show you what I have. I kind of just jumped right into this. Again, this has been like completely obliterated. Like look at this, it's so sad. But anyways, these are the ones that aren't used anyway. So the ones that haven't been used are not damaged, but isn't this beautiful? So I don't know for sure if this is what we're going to use, but we'll see. I do have that. And then I also have these that I think are so pretty, but they kind of look like May to me. So I think we might use these in May because, you know, the whole like Mother's Day thing. But this is kind of what I'm thinking for April. Let me, let me find some stuff of really what it is. Okay, see this like watercolor-y pretty? Yes, this to me says April because it is... It seems like a rainy day to me, right? Like these kind of feels seem like a rainy day, right? Doesn't that feel like it's rainy to you? Now, I'm not saying we're gonna use all of these, probably not this one. I will probably save that for May. This one's super pretty. This one. See, I have all these different options of things for April. So I think these will be super pretty and that's kind of the vibe that I'm going with. Now, these are papers. They're heavy cardstock papers, but I kind of want to tie some of that in and bring some of this paper into my spreads, um, especially for the monthly. See how this just, yeah, duh, says April to, to me. I don't know if it does to you, but it does to me. Okay, I really like this one for that. And I really like this one just because I love it. Not because it seems rainy to me, but just because I love it. And then I also really like these to use as like journaling cards, maybe like 
this page is really speaking to me. These are also thinner paper, so it's a lot better because, um, yeah. Okay, so there's going to be lots of setting up. I don't even know if I can do all of this in one video, but I'm going to try. And I've never done this before. I don't really have a plan. I'm just kind of, you guys are going along with me, and we're kind of taking it as it comes. And this paper is not wanting to stay on my desk. It keeps trying to fall. Okay, I really like these. And I really, really, really like these. Like, this is probably my favorite of all of it. So, I definitely want to use those. Okay. These, I think we're going to save for a different time. Okay. So, I had to, like, set them on the floor over there. Because I can't fit everything on my desk. All right, so I definitely want to use this, and then I want to make my little dashboard that I make all the other times. So, like, this is January's where I do my vellum piece, and then I just did a little card over on the other side. This one is February's where I kind of did the same kind of thing, lots of layering. I really love this. I think it's super pretty. And then March's that I haven't even put March down. I didn't do a whole lot in here in March, I'm not going to lie. Um... But I just did this dashboard and then did it this way. I like all of those things. March is literally not that long. I did some journaling. I did some scripture um, note taking. I haven't even put stickers on these yet. Um, this one I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for. And this is my weekly spread in here. So what I am doing for my weekly spreads is I'm taking note of my mood, things I'm grateful for, things that I do for myself, like kind of self-care, um, a focus word, prayer requests for the week, and then um, my habit trackers are if I've read my Bible and if I have my quiet time in the morning. Quiet time in the morning really, really helps me, and I want to keep track of when I do quiet time and I'm also doing the weather. So this will be where the weather goes is these little guys, these little half moons right here. I want to see by recording these things, I want to see how reading my Bible, coffee and quiet time and the weather correlate with my mood. Does do these things affect my mood? Because I think they do, but I want to see by tracking it every day if it correlates so that's my goals for that okay then this is just like a little weekly dashboard page where I'm going to put this is my morning checklist I'm trying to create for myself things in the morning that I need to do and then any notes to myself for the week and then this has an inspirational quote for the week as well and things I'm gr grateful for for the week okay so that's that's kind of how I'm using it. Then this is going to be last thoughts for March. I have to color it, put stickers all over it, make it pretty. It's not there yet. But regardless of if the month is completely closed out, we're going to set up for the month of April because March is not completely over yet. Okay. Um, the month is not quite over yet, so I still have time. I still have this week left. Like I did this for this week that I'm in currently. So today is Monday when I'm filming this. And so I still have a little bit of time to close out March. It's not done yet, but... Um, I left these like indentions here on this weekly, I mean this little last minute journaling. Okay, that is the third child who has come in here to interrupt. So perhaps they will stop. I wouldn't count on it, but perhaps it is something else, you guys. Like, oh, bless it. Really? Like, seriously? It's been, it has been, I'll say March, I guess since we're setting up April, we can talk about this. So I will say March was a very frustrating month for me as far as like getting things done and being productive. See, there's the problem right there. You see that chunk missing out of the tape? Yeah, we're going to have issues out of the whole roll until we get past that. So anyways, um, I will say that March was not, and I put this in my astrology when I was journaling about it, um, it wasn't as productive as I wanted it to be. We moved back in here as a family together in the month of February, and we're just now getting used to 
being back in the house together and new rules and things like we had tried to start implementing new rules into our family um just new rules for the kids new habits for them we had also implemented like a lot of new scheduling things for homeschool and we did that in the other house that we were living in however when we moved and we are packing and we're getting all of these things accomplished and then now we unpacking and doing all of those things like when all of that stuff is happening um another interruption two of them this time anyways it made it a little bit more difficult to stick to those habits that we had started making you know in the other house now in our defense we didn't know that we would be moving that quickly like we thought it would be months down the road I mean that's kind of what we had planned for to begin with um, was the end of May somewhere around that time frame and um, because of the situation where there was mold in the house and it was making us sick and all of those things like we moved in quicker than we anticipated and so I mean it's not like we made the we started the habits and then knew that we were going to move and then we started the habits anyway and we just weren't smart about it I mean we we didn't know that we were moving so quickly so you know but we didn't really have time to like solidify those habits before they were kind of tumultuous <laughs> circumstances surrounding everything you know like we can't keep our homeschool schedule because we're packing and unpacking and I don't have time to do the things that you know what I'm saying like it's all just kind of been up in the air and then chores went out the window because I'm trying to get their rooms set up and their things and so all of these kinds of things screen time was kind of necessary for me to get stuff done and so it's just been a little bit hectic and I was hoping that March would be the month for us to kind of get back into the swing of things but it just wasn't we were super super busy we've been getting really involved in our church when and with our church family and all of that and we you know that's a really good thing we've been putting good things in place however um it just made it really hard to kind of stick to the the things that we had started so I'm hoping that April is that month to kind of get back into the swing of things and um, just just kind of make habits that are healthy and good for us and also habits for me so that I can film a little bit more consistently and 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 make things that make my heart happy and that means I have to get my sewing machine fixed and a lot of other stuff and you know there's just a lot of things that I'm hoping April can bring to us. So I am laying down this washi because I think it's pretty. I think this is really pretty for the whole vibe that I have going on. All these watercolors are really, really pretty. Okay, so what about these? Let's see. I'll need some of this later, but not quite yet. I just wanted to kind of look at what my choices are are in boxes. Now I did pull some other things too. I pulled some deco that we can use and now I'm out of breath because I just had to run up and down the stairs because my kids are just, <laughs> they're just not being cooperative with me today and they're not being quiet for their brother. Look at that freaking bunny. We're definitely using that somewhere. I love these, but I also hate to use them, so I just keep hoarding them because they're freaking gorgeous, and I can't, can't deal with it. This is really pretty. See, like, there's just a bunch of pretty things that we can definitely use. I might keep these for May because it just reminds me of May flowers, right? There's tons of different stuff. Okay. So, let's see. Definitely love this guy. And I just love these quotes, and I just think that this is such a good place to use them because these are super pretty. Okay, so I think what we're going to do for this, there's like so many options to choose from. I have like tons of them, tons of different stickers that I feel like really go with this theme and I love them <laughs> like a lot like look how pretty these are so anyways 
I, I've pulled like a whole bunch of different options for us. And I've also pulled some boxes to go on that page that I was talking about that we're going to get to in a minute. So I'm going to put these to the side over here so I can keep those separate. And what I think we're going to start with is I'm going to cut a couple of these out for us to use. The question is, what do I want? Um... Okay, I want, I think I want this one right here, and I think I want some of this, so I'm going to cut these, don't want to use sunshine in the sky because to be honest, it is sunshiny today, but it has been raining, and we've had a lot of tornado weather lately, and I think that it's going to be like that for a bit around these parts. This is usually the time of year for it, for sure. And so, I don't necessarily want to highlight about the sunshine because there's been a lot of rain and there will probably continue to be a good bit of rain. Okay, so I'm gonna cut these and we're gonna start with this. I think it's a good place to start. Okay, so I'm gonna trim this down a little bit and my hands are really shaky, I'm sorry. It's just the way I am. <laughs> like, people are like, your hands are so shaky. No, my hands are just normal. This is normal me, this is my normal. Like it just is what it is. Who knows why? Okay. All right. So that's super pretty. I like that. And then I'm just going to kind of make myself kind of some pretty things. I kind of want to do it like a little corner piece, right? Okay, so pretty. Alright, so let's get our glue stick, because I have one of those handy, of course. And... This at the bottom here. So pretty. And then I'm not going to use this, but I do want to use this one, I think. Let's put it up here. love like watercolory things. I think it's really nice. Okay, I like this maybe like that. I don't want to take up all the real estate because there's still things that I want to put here. But don't mind a little bit of it being used. Okay. Okay, and then let's do, let's do her because I think she's freaking gorgeous. I don't want to mess up her bag, but I also don't want to cover up the S, so maybe I should have scooched that over just a bit. I know there's going to be glue everywhere. Chill out. Just hold on. Come on. Come on. Alright, now my edges are going to be all messy. Look, somebody stuffed cookie into the glue stick. Oh boy. This 
glue stick was in our homeschool bucket, so that's no surprise, but, huh, you know. Okay. All right. That's really cute. I like that a lot. And let's see if we can find something else. I like this cat for no reason at all to do with April, but just because I want one so badly. Maybe we'll get one this month, so that would be a reason for me to have that guy. And then, let's see something else. Definitely these rainbows. It's really pretty. Definitely one of those. I'll probably use some more of those in a minute. So there's that. And then, um, I do kind of want some flowers, but I don't really know which ones I want. That's really pretty. These are pretty. I like this one. Ooh, I like this. Are there any of these that like, yeah. I like this one's really pretty. And I also really like this. Yes, that's really pretty. I like that. Okay, I need something for up here. Um, where are those? Um, these guys, these are pretty. And then, I think I might then this one. This one has blue at the bottom. Let's do this one. This is pretty. And then let's do another rainbow. Okay. I think that's good for that page. It's really cute. And then um, I kind of want something right here. I wish I had a better, like a purple. But I do have a pink. But I don't, I think I have a purple. But I don't know where it is. Okay. Super cute. Let's do that up here too. There's a hair on my marker. Okay. Super cute. Really like that. Okay. So this is our vellum sheet. We've already got it tipped in. And that hair won't leave me alone. Oh my gosh, it's like stuck. Get away. You can see the little hearts under my fingernails from... <laughs> okay. And the burn on my hand, so sorry about that. Okay, so look how pretty that is. I love that. Okay. I kind of do want to round off these corners. Just because... Oh, there you go. All right, so now we're going to do our April page, and I really think that I want to use this guy, okay? I want to use, which is going to be, oh my gosh, this paper will not stay where I'm wanting it to stay. It is like refusing. Okay, I want to use this but I want it to be like, like a that. <laughs> so it's going to be very complicated, especially with me not having my stupid paper trimmer. So annoying. But as long as I get it like almost there, it's okay. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I did it so I would have a little bit of white all the way around. I think it's super pretty. Okay. 
so there's that. All right, so let's glue that down with my cookie filled glue stick. Probably Jensen, I'm sure. He will be two this month, and that is so crazy. At the end of the month, he will be two, and I'm not looking forward to that. That's so sad. I have a love-hate relationship with my kids' birthdays because I love that they are growing and they are developing into intelligent young men, but I hate to see them grow up <laughs> and get old and I cannot lay this on straight to save my life you guys not happening okay oh my gosh now I just put a big old fold in it Today is not my day of doing things correctly and all cutesy and professional, which I don't even think I have those days, period, but I'm just failing it at it today. I don't know what it is. Okay. Okay. So now... I want to, this one's already purple, maybe I'll layer the two, do I want to layer it, maybe I'll layer it with this one, okay, I'm going to take that, Should have went a little bit more to the left there, friend. Just a tiny tad. Okay, that's cute. All right, now I'm gonna take my April script. I get these from Hobby Lobby. They are Paper Studio. You can always get them 50% off. I think they've been doing a lot of things like it's in 40% off lately instead. <sighs> but nevertheless, it's still a good deal. Yeah, I think I want that to go up a little bit, huh? Okay. Super cute. Really like it. I like that. Does it feel like April spelled wrong? Because it totally does to me. Have you ever had that happen to you? Where things, all of a sudden, it feels like it's spelled incorrectly. Yeah. feels like that to me right now. Okay. So, I want... Let's see. Mm, I want, where's that sticker at? Yeah, I want one of these. Because he's so cute. Look how cute he is. And he's a bunny, so I think it's appropriate. So freaking cute. And then I kind of want a few flowers. I have these mushrooms that are super cute. Oh, look how cute he is. He's so cute. Okay. Um. Hmm. I don't know. I can't decide. I kind of wish I would have used, like, a box around it. What do you think about that? I feel, kind of feel like it needs something. This 
so green. Like, this one's so green, though, that I don't, I don't really like that. And... Hmm. Here's another floral one. Oh, look. Dance in the rain. Like, how perfect is that? That has to be used. I feel like it needs something else behind it. This one. And this one. And... Okay, I wish there was like a, I need one of those like little wreath guys, but I feel like these are going to be like way bright and green too, and that's not really what I want. And I have some more of these that are, see like this one's pretty, like this has enough dark colors in it that it could be really nice. We'll use this, and I I'm going to keep this one out because I like these florals too. Oh crap. Okay. So let me see if I can lift this up now that I've just made colossal mistakes and put all these stickers down. And I'm like, oh wait, I've changed my mind. Luckily they're on cardstock and they're not on the flimsy paper. So it should hold up a little bit better. Okay. Trust me, I've lifted off of cardstock many a time. Alright. I'm trying to do this delicately and I'm failing. I feel like that is fine. Yeah. Let's lift up your little ear, little guy. Why is this not working? not working very well because there's a fold in here. Ah. Is that better? I don't think it is, but let's see. No, it's totally not. Okay. Therefore, what we're going to do is we're going to take this off of here. And that's about where we know it needs to go. So let's lay this down first. There we go. See, friend? I knew you wanted to cooperate. Then we will lay this down. It's not right. Okay. Pretty. See, I like that better. All of that work for that. Was it worth it? I mean, I, th I think it was. Okay, we will put this in this corner. Is that pretty? I don't like this layering. <laughs> A little bit wonky. Come off. Thank goodness cardstock is a bit more forgiving than this paper because otherwise. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I kind of, this might not work because of how I'm going to layer it on, but let's see what this looks like over this because I really love this flower. I think it's super pretty and the colors are not, oh yeah, I like that. That's pretty. Okay, let's take this poor guy off because he's like, look, he's just not vibing well over here. There we go. And let's put this one on. Oh, 
that's pretty okay I might say I did too much but I really do like it I think it's really pretty so that's gonna be that okay isn't it pretty I love it so pretty okay so that's what we got for April so far now we have an April dashboard and look at all the wrinkles I made like really you know it's not necessary I mean, come on seriously Okay, so we will have a dashboard, and I kind of, where are those stickers at? Are they under here? Yes, they are. Okay, I really like this one. It's peeling up anyways, so let's go ahead and use it. I'm going to use it for my little dashboard we got going on here. I am going to use this washi again. What is what did I ever do before I discovered washi is what I want to know. Okay, he is a little bit bent, but you know, what else is new, right? I found him in a box of scraps, a scrap cardstock, and I was like, what? How did you get in here? I was looking for some vellum. Okay, I'm just going to put it right there. Okay, pretty. I like that. Okay, and why is there glue residue? Okay. So there's for that. And let's move these out of the way. And I want to use this little bunny. This is also from Happy Scrappy. Aren't these so cute? So cute. Okay, I'm going to put him in the corner here. I think I'm going to put other washi down the side maybe. And I think I'm going to use, where is that washi right here? This Dollar Tree washi is so cute. It's the raindrops. I don't like a lot of their washi anymore. They used to have some really cute ones and now they're kind of burnt. <laughs> like they're just not very cute but they used to have some cute ones and I actually have some that I really like from a long time ago when I used to be a Dollar Tree crazy person like I used to be way crazy about the Dollar Tree now not nearly as much I mean I can find some good things there I definitely find good homeschool things there but and organizational bins and stuff like that. But other than that, I don't really go there very much. So I'm going to put him right here. And I like him. He's so cute. Okay. I don't really like him there, but I kind of made the paper really thin with doing that washi like that. And so it's okay. We're just going to keep him there. Except for I keep moving him. I'm saying that we're going to keep her there. She's a her. She has a bow. It's a her. Keeping her there. But I really like it better this way. So, okay. Um, if this doesn't stay down, I'm going to freak out. What is that thread on it? Why are you here, thread? Get off. Yeah, it's just really hard to keep this on here because of that little... The, the bend in it. It's still going to pop up and it's going to drive me bananas, but we'll deal with it later. I have to use something a little stronger. Okay. So, I want to put another rainbow because I truly believe, like, rainbows are God's promise and... I'm holding fast to God's promise in a lot of different things in my life. And so it's a symbol of that for me. And there has to be rain for there to be rainbows, right? 
Okay, so I'm going to do that. And then I do have some boxes that I have pulled um, for this purpose. Oh, crap. That little piece of sticker that I cut off for the scissors is right there. Okay, so I like these a lot. And I already have this one. I also really love this. So we're definitely using this one, and it's huge. So we're going to have it going to go ahead and use it first and and I think I'm going to use like a really good this right here to hold that little part down that's driving me bananas and that's what we're going to do with that. <laughs> okay. So what do I have before? I didn't even fill out this for February hardly at all. Um, but it's kind of my goals for it. The theme of the month. Like what kinds of things went on this month. See I haven't even filled it out at all. I will need to find one of those rainbows. I forgot about those. I'm sure I have them somewhere. Um, I need to find one of those. Okay. So I need to fill this out too, but kind of like a quote or a Bible verse for the month and then some goals and things like that. This can be the goals one because it looks goalie, doesn't it? This can be for that. And then these are like the wrong size for this kind of thing, right? Um, I can overlap them or I can just use like something like this, which I think is really pretty too. So we'll do that. We'll do that right here. And then what else did I do? It looks like he's, she's talking. What else did I do for... Okay, so I didn't do anything on here. Okay, I kind of want to do something else on here and make this kind of a two-page thing um, because I kind of do want to put um, my bills on here for the month just because I want... You guys, I want all of the accountability I can possibly have for myself with knowing things. I'm also taking care, taking over bills and all of the money things in our household. It just stresses my husband out like a lot. <laughs> it really stresses him out, and there's really it doesn't stress me out at all. I'm I'm really good at it, and and it just there's there's no sense. Oh, I just dropped the sticker. There's no sense in. Us, like, hint, one of us being stressed out if we don't have to be, right? Like, if I can take care of things, there's no sense in me not. It, I actually quite enjoy it, to be honest. Um, enjoy taking care of the household bills and making sure everything's paid. Like, it gives me peace. <laughs> it makes me feel good to, to know everything's taken care of. And I'm kind of a control freak anyway, so... He's a control freak too, though. That's the problem, but in diff a different way. Like, he... It's hard for him to relinquish that control, but and but then again, like he absolutely hates it. So it's like, if you hate doing it, then why do you feel the need to hang on to it? It's just, you know, it's just part of his trauma, right? From childhood that hangs on and it lingers on. And his, um, he had a really, really rough childhood. So that sense of control with money and things like that, it just kind of makes them feel better, but we're, we're trying to get rid of that. Okay. Also, I want to use a daily chore list. I want to, um, this is only for a week, right? It's Cause this only does it for a week, but, um, it's, I don't, I don't really care about the tracker as much. Um, so yeah, there's, there's that. I'm just going to put it all down and I'll use the tracker in some shape, form or fashion. This is so cute. I really like it. Okay. So I kind of want to put something like that on this side too. Maybe like at this one. They are in the kitchen, I think, is where they're coming from. And they're being so stinging loud. Like, sounds like they're in the freezer. I can't tell. Guys, this whole, this is why I like this is so necessary to get like, um, to really try and get like routines and things down because my kiddos are just, 
They just need that in their life. I can feel it. Okay, this is really pretty. I like it a lot. And so I'm also going to put maybe a little checklist down, down here. And I think it needs another one up here. I don't know what the checklist will be for yet, but we'll see. We will see. Okay. So one major thing happening this month is Jensen turns two, which is just bittersweet for me. His first, his first birthday, honestly, Jensen's whole life has not been on the best of grounds. Like, you know, if you're not new to this channel, then you know, like we had a lot of troubles and um, Joshua was a very like heavy alcoholic for a while and it's been like a lot of Jensen's life and so it's it's really bittersweet for me that he's turning two because there's just been so much that's happened to us in his little lifetime and I'm just so thankful to God for bringing us here and just part and it's just been it's been a really crazy crazy journey but it's been something that I'm so thankful for and so yeah it's let's put some deco like in these little spaces here um so yeah it's it's just been something that I'm super grateful and thankful for and we're we're going for it right we're oh look this is goals okay but anyways, it's been, it's been a crazy, crazy thing. We're still walking through it and, you know, I mean, I'm sure there's going to be a lot that we, um, a long time that we're, you know, learning and just keeping on going. And, but it's, it's, it's very humbling when you think of how God loves you that much where, you know, it puts things into perspective that God has things under control and he loves you and does hear the prayers that you ask him and they can be answered. And it's just, it is a very humbling thing. At least it was for me when I just thought about, you know, I prayed so heavily for my husband and my family and I thought that it was a lost cause like it just was never going to happen I felt like it was done but I continued to pray and I continued to ask him to work on his heart and he did and for all of that to have changed and now we're back together as a family and, and we're thriving and it's just it's a very humbling thing so um, this is so pretty. I'm just putting these here and there because I feel like it needs it. I don't want it to have any little empty spots and spaces. And I kind of want to tie these two pages together. So putting this deco on both pages kind of does that for me. So let's do that. And... Okay, that is done. So these are this is my monthly dashboard. I'm going to put all my bills for the month. I'm going to put the thoughts of the month, like things, um, just things I'm thinking going into the month. And then this is going to be for um, Jensen's birthday. And these are goals for the month. And this will just be, I don't know, like things I hope to do, just kind of a, an extension of my goals or whatever. And then, yeah. I was going to, I think I might put this dreams one on to this and we'll just see like things I'm dreaming up, not necessarily goals, but things I'm dreaming up for the future. Okay. Super, super pretty. I really like it. And then this is going to start my journaling. Now, um, when I, as you can see, like I did a mood tracker, but I don't need to do that anymore because I'm doing it in my weeklies. Um, and so then I just started directly into, this was kind of a bucket list. 
it's really cute um but it uh, it had a lot of bleed through so i kind of wish i would have like taped these two pages together and then did it that way but i did some journaling here and i just kind of have fun with it as it goes i need to fill this out and then um this is supposed to be my last thoughts for february that i like never finished and then this is um going into march okay so now same thing Still need to finish some things with some stickers and decorating. This is this week that we're in right now. And then this is going into April. And this is so super pretty. I really like this. And so this will be my journaling. And then I am going to do a separate video where I go ahead and set up um, at least the first week. I can't decide. I can't decide if I want just all my weeklies and then the journaling to be after that. That would be perfectly fine with me. So I could just do week one, um, you know, so on and so forth. All the weeks together and then do my journaling. But I don't know. I don't know if that's what I want. I don't think it is. I think I just want to do it one at a time. I, that might be crazy, but I think I kind of want to do it one at a time. But I might go ahead and do next week's for you guys and go ahead and make that into a video. But this is how it's going to begin. So this is my April startup for the month of April. This is what it looks like in the beginning. So we shall see how it goes. So thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.